And after a two hour drive, we're here in the city of San Ignacio. It's 6.30, it's nighttime, I'm hungry. Let's go find some Mayan street food. Good evening from San Ignacio, Belize, on the border with Guatemala. This is the heart of the Mayan culture in Belize. And I just got here, it's 5 p.m., the sun is setting. We have no plans. We're gonna show you the city, uncut, super raw. We we'll walk around, we might, you know, drink a beer. Have some street food. I don't know. I have no idea what we're going to see here. So. You good, Nate? Yeah, man. I'm amazing. It's so beautiful here. Let's go. So we're here in the center of the town. I'm staying at Airbnb right there, literally a block away. Look at that. I like that art right here. Let's go that way. Everybody's just focused on this camera right now. <laughs> Buy something. Hey, how you doing? I'm fine. Well, I'm the owner here. What's your name? I'm Carlton. Carlton? Yeah. Carlton. Carlton, Fresh Prince of Bel Air is where it comes to mind. Yeah, man. This is good stuff, man. I like this. Yeah, those are... Beautiful. Well, I, were, woo, I do a that. lot of the... I do a big portion of the jewelry. Okay. Yeah. Some of that wood carving stuff is done in the Re Belize River Valley. That's where, around. yeah, the carvers, you know, do that work. That's out of Cerakote. Yeah, that's a local hardwood. It's yeah. very nice. I like this piece. Yeah. And he has uh, necklaces. Yeah, those are out of slate. Is yeah. that a slate too? Yeah, that's a Maya calendar. Slate is a original stone that you can mark on the... That's the original Belize color of the flag. Is it? Yeah, that's our flag. Very nice. Yeah, man. So if you guys want souvenirs, come here. Looking for a pipe? Get a pipe right there. Well, easy. They have uh, stone stones. Pendants. Look, look. Some, these are very nice stones, man. It's just like that. Just pass the line and give them the drove. <laughs> easy. Oh, sh that's good stuff. Yeah, man. Good, good. You, you, this is this video's getting a million views, bro. What yeah. are you talking about? Yeah, you're in it, you're in it yeah, for man. sure, man. Bless. Thank you so much. Yeah, Thank you're you very me. welcome. Thank you. I'm gonna come Any, back here and buy something before anytime. I leave. Anytime. Remember the store. Back to my roots. Back art to my from roots. art from the heart, right? Respect. Respect, bro. Thank Bless. you so much. Yeah, man. Thank All you. the best. Thank yes, you. sir. Thank you, you so much. Thank yes. you. Let's see what we got here. Hello. How you doing? Hi, thank you. Man, I love the mask. Oh, thanks very much. Love the mask. I would buy all of them. Oh. How much are they? The bigger ones are six to Belize dollars. Sixty, so thirty US. Yeah. Yeah, those are really cool. Those are nice. And we have for seventy, seventy-five, and fifty to twenty-five Belize dollars. How much is that one? That one's that big. It's the medicine it's goddess of mine. How much? One hundred Belize. One hundred. Hmm. Taking this one. Sure. I don't think I'm going to find this anywhere else because I know the other mask. I've seen those styles. I saw in Chichi Castanango in Guatemala. So obviously Mayan culture really, really prominent. But they're made here, those? In the southern part. The southern part. Yeah, um, right. you're, we need to acknowledge that um, we have Mayas in the south that does have this Guatemalan background. Uh, I know. This is a melting pot of so many cultures. I really love the mask. So I collect masks. Uh, I have a huge wall. And I was seeing those, but this for me is like the one I want for my oh, mask. This is the one that costs. I'm, I might buy a few of those as gifts well, later. I think one of the most important things we need to make very clear is that um, Belize is not only about the ancient civilization, mm -hmm. oh, because many times people focus on all the Maya sites, yep. the ancient, right? We, we still have descendants of the Maya city. I'm one of the descendants, right? So uh, we pretty much um, adapt to a modern world, you know, but we do exist. So we're still here. We do. Uh, we are my descendants. This is just like some like shops. Over here you can buy some clothing. You like some clothing here. You got fans. So if you're staying at every beat, it has no air conditioning like we are. <laughs> Yeah, and then we are the, um, what is that, a walking menu. 
Okay, so I'll take a pina colada. Pina colada. And that's virgin, right? It's not alcohol in that? No alcohol. No alcohol. One better. Like, I'll be $9. Okay. A small pina colada. Thank you. Well, maybe pina I just didn't want to get a coffee. Uh, so what time are you guys open? Open 6 in the morning. 6 in the morning? Tomorrow, cold 6 a.m., but right here. Thank you so much. Right there. So it's called Coffee eh, de los Mayas. De los Mayas. Aquí estamos con los Mayas. Que bueno. Thank you so much. You can jump off the bridge? You are? No. <laughs> Let's jump off the bridge. I'm currently staying right next to this place, like two blocks away from Burns Street. Wow, I think we're the first YouTubers to do this here. Oh, the big camera. Mm -hmm. Amazing, take a lot of it. You know, I'm rolling our garnacha. Garnacha is a vegan garnacha, does not have chicken. So I'm getting just one garnacha, right? So that is four tortillas to fry to get the beans, cabbage, cheese, and that's it. This is a vegan dish. This has no chicken. If it has chicken, it's called si lo si pone pollo, se llama otra cosa. Tostada, tostada, tostada is the same thing, but with chicken. Yeah, so garnacha is vegan. There's no chicken, no meat. Pepper. You mean pepper? Lots of pepper. And cheese. Yes, sir. Ah, sí, está bien. Uh, I'll be light with the dairy. I ate too much food today. Yo voy con mi demasiado. Like way too much food. Sorry guys, I'm going, I'm going English, Spanish, English, Spanish. Spanglish. Spanglish, here, right here. The street food. It's all good? Sorry. I was interrupted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice snack. What the wallet is it? Yeah. You're not charging me. Gracias, gracias. Gracias, gracias. It's pretty cool. There's a restaurant inside, lots of people. We're resting outside. Very good choices in the menu, and a few favorites are in court. Last order till 9 p.m. Last order till 9 p.m. Okay, great. Fantastic. Very good lamb dishes, by the way. Lamb dishes? Am I eating too early? <laughs> I ate so much today, oh my god. Uh, lamb dishes. Lamb dishes right here, like pan fried lamb liver. Nine dollars. Good. Look, six Shakira Vindaloo. Read some prices. So everything is around, look, like around 20, so 10 US. And then it goes up to 32, so 16 US for that, for the spicy rum shrimp. That's the most expensive thing, I think. Nothing more expensive than they have lamb dishes, they have beef dishes, pork, chicken, seafood, vegetarian, burritos, quesadillas, Belizean favorites, what are those? Rice and beans, of course. The national dish. Eating too much today, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a craft beer, but I'm coming back here later for dinner. So I'm gonna get the stout, the hobbits stout. And he's getting the gold nail. I love your restaurant, by the way. Thank you. It's beautiful. So they have craft beer. They have shakes, they have what else, wine, and they have some souvenirs on the wall, they have the, the map of the leaves. And uh, yeah, cozy place, you know, like everybody's here just looking at us, like, who are these two guys walking up in here with a YouTuber camera? Uh, That's the style, I haven't tried this one. It, it does look good. Yes, yes, thank you. Appreciate it. Fans, huh? Her mom actually watches me. So she saw Guyana and she uh, saying she's watching Dominican. How do we go? The first craft beer in Belize. Nice coffee stuff. Absolutely. I love this restaurant. I don't think I'm gonna get the lamb burger. Later. Yeah, yeah. See, I, dude, I might too. I might too. So those are arm size 
size burritos. We're large burritos in the house. Arm size? Yes, I call them arm size. It's an arm size burrito. Yes. Would you say like the biggest burritos? The biggest in burrito all in Belize? Belize? I would say Belize, yes. It's amazing. One or two more days. You better Belize it. <laughs> I guess my first one. It's my first one on the trip. I got at least one, right? Better Belize it. You better Belize it. Total price was 17 Belize, so like 9 US dollars, 850 US dollars. So I'm leaving for uh, what I got, I'm leaving for 20. Just leave that, right? So this beer, and we're off. See you later. Thank you. Bye, thank you. Come back for dinner, I'm gonna have a lamb burger for sure. Alright, we're about to jump on a bridge. Right next to the cell station, the lease station. We have that small roundabout park. Over here we have the bridge. Steel bridge, bro. Awesome. How you doing? Good, good. Woo. This is amazing. This is what I love about shopping. Exploring, right? We don't need tours, we can do it ourselves. Hi, man. Hi. Oh, wow. Look at that. By the way, somebody earlier was offering to, to jump off this bridge for us and pay them. I don't know, bro. Maybe you should pay them. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, actually. Uh, yeah, somebody jump off this bridge. Right? That is crazy. Wow. This is like a magic. Hold on. Wait a minute. A little bit of vertigo, man. Look, like, I got some locks here. Look at the locks. Love locks. Yeah, love, love locks. locks. You gotta have it. There you go over, look at this, look at this. Woo! Woo! It's actually really scary. It's like scary. <laughs> Dude, but imagine, like a thousand years ago, there was people here like crossing the rivers, you know? This is really high up, guys. I think it's like, I'd say 400 feet at least. I'm sure there's crocs in there. I wouldn't go in that water. Probably some massive This is like one of the coolest bridges I've been on in a long time. Let me see. Let me not do that too long. <laughs> careful, careful. Yeah. Is it okay if I did that? That was okay. That's okay. That's okay, right? Yeah. These guys I hear them screaming or something. Yeah, I mean, I won't lie to you. I'm a little nervous. That's all rusty. I'm gonna take this shot. Going down by the river. Careful on the way down, not to rock. Look at this. Yeah, jungle over there. This is the town. It's a one way. You have to go in circles. I love how this is like, you know, modern, but still old. And over here we just have pure jungle and you can just hear the sounds. Natural, like this riverbed with the trees, like along the riverbed there. It's just a very natural feeling town, which I really like. It's very cool. Quaint has a quaint small town. Like I said before, this is a big circle. You come in through here, go around a town, you go out the other bridge, you come back, go around. It's the only way. It's the only way. It's the only way. Here we have the market. This is the best day is Saturdays, but every single morning they're open. We're gonna go this tomorrow morning, eight in the morning, we'll be here. Yeah, right now everything was closed to the few uh, fruit and vegetable like stands, but that's basically still home. Not that you right now. Getting late, huh? It's a cool tour. You know, we wanted to try to change it up today, experience it differently. Como estás? Si la pregunta mía es horchata. Sí. ¿Cuánto es? Dos dólares. Dos dólares. Two dollars. Me da uno. Gracias. ¿Qué más hacen aquí? Tacos, burritos, carnaches. Todo lo que está Todo ahí. Vale, gracias. Ok, gracias. Let me try this. Rice drink. You got that? The best. I 
amiga. ¿Te pago? Sí, sí, sí. No, gracias. Let's go. Let's go. By the way, everybody was super quiet when I walked in. It was like, it was like crickets there. So I was like, okay, I'll pay, I'll go. A lot of people here. There's a lot of foreigners here, by the way. I mean, everybody here is from somewhere else. Hey, how you doing? Good. Oh, yeah. Did you come here? What is it? So they have the same thing. Right, so um, tacos, hot dogs. Do you have a menu? No. No? Do you have a menu? Fryjack, sabotes, chicken wings. Eat. Burrito, fryjack, salad, sabotes, chicken wings. Okay, what do you think? Empanada? Empanada. Okay, I have an empanada. So here, open air, right? The street food. Over here, we're like a hot dog vendor, very small, like little kiosk. Over here, look at this truck, bro. It's the right thing, traffic, right? Uh, yeah, don't forget the traffic man. Traffic man. It possible. Uh, my name is Glenn. Glenn? Yes. David, welcome, David, and enjoy the new when you go home, you sell a friend. Okay? Awesome, <laughs> awesome. It's unbelievable. Huh? It's you better unbelievable. Believe, you better believe it. <laughs> what are you doing there? Empanadas. Empanadas de que? De, de pollo. De pollo. ¿Y cuánto vale? Tres por un dólar. Amiga. So right here we have the empanada. Here we go. Small little fried empanadas. Chicken. Me quemé. Amiga. Masa caliente. She had to. Let me get some of the spice. Is this picante? Is this not pica? Habanero. Let's try the habanero. Cabbage. Mm -hmm. Light. Oh, spicy. Light. Actually reminds me of these little fried tacos. No, very, very. Oh, it's too hot. It's a little crispy. Another texture inside. Very too hot. Sandwich. How? Mejor pollo queso. Let's do the sandwich. So she'll add beans, chicken, and some cheese. That'll be a sandwich. Alright, let's go. Smiles good. You know what? I'm actually still a little hungry. I tipped her. It was only 50 cents. I gave her 250. A lot of music though. So we're back on the street. Now you're making barbecue right here. He works here. I'm just, you know, scoping it out. Mind culture. Oh, the street was good. I'll see you on the next one. Let's go.